This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing 175 pounds, Danny Limelight. Taz, that was a really unique, tremendous camera angle there from the floor here of Danny Limelight. We have a guest cameraman, an old friend of mine, KM. I thought he was your invisible friend. Yes. He's all over the place. He roams throughout the production area. But... And his opponent from the side dojo in Clearwater, Florida, weighing 166 pounds, Matt Seidel. Side dojo. Yep, Matt Seidel's wrestling school in Clearwater, Florida. I was not aware of his school. That's, that's great, though. Is it? I, mean, I, I was expecting a, a turf war between the Team Taz Dojo and the uh, Side Dojo. Oh, we have confidence in Team Taz Dojo. They're all over the world, and uh, yeah, mostly based in New York, but I digress. But yes, no, yes, no, that's really not a set. So I'll, I'll bring that back. I'm not really, uh, I'm not insecure about anybody else's training style or schools. I'm not. I'm not. I'm confident. Not a lot of stalks, hops, cage, what we do. Not a lot of high flying techniques being taught at the Team Taz dojos? Uh, no, not too much. No, not based. Danny Limelight not backing down from Matt Seidel here. And right in his face. But Seidel, a veteran, he is, he is as unflappable as they come. The waist lock transitioning into a side headlock, into the wrist lock. Limelight up to his feet and now with a hammer lock. Yeah, quickly into that hammer lock and nice overhook into a fireman's carry by Seidel. Got that arm keyed up right there. Good job by Seidel. Maintaining control, good two on one there. Grip on the arm of Danny Limelight. The fly mare right there. Good job. And another one brings Danny Limelight down, hooks the far leg. Just a one count for Matt Seidel. Yeah, and he just kind of, Seidel basically showing Danny Limelight, listen, you know, I'm not gonna out wrestle me, so here we go. Matt Seidel, of course, originally from St. Louis, Missouri, residing in Clearwater, Florida for uh, coming up on 20 years. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I definitely would move out of St. Louis if I was him, I don't blame him. <laughs> not a big fan of the Gateway Arch? No, oh, old Jersey. Cover here, roll up. Seidel continuing to punish that left arm of Danny Limelight. And now, as he went for that arm bar, he took his own palm, Seidel, pushed it in the back of the deltoid, which controls the whole limb and controls the guy's, you know, the, the left side of the guy's body. And that's exactly what he did to Limelight. Seidel getting, uh, losing his grip on Limelight. Limelight, great Escalera there, takes down Seidel. Whoa. And the drop kick as soon as Seidel got back up to his feet, Danny Limelight. He's feeling it here. Yeah, he's an excellent athlete. The only limelight can go. Saying that because he's a New Yorker? Or? No, no, he's he, no, he's legit, man. He can go. Oh, the slice there by Seidel. Drops down limelight. Ooh. And that stalling Mariposa by Matt Seidel. He continues the assault, continues to blister Danny Limelight with kicks. Oh, Ooh. running knee strike. Matt Seidel covers, hooks the far leg. Two count there. Yeah, Seidel just, I don't know, I kind of think he should have went in for the kill a little more aggressively there. He might have had an opportunity, and see, now you got Daniel Limelight coming back. Hold on, maybe not. Great snap, on there. Oh, but Limelight fired back with the clothesline. Yeah, caught him right across the chest. Even a lot of times you see clotheslines across the neck. You don't have to. If you catch a guy hard enough across the front of his, you know, right across his pecs, you definitely could drop him like we just witnessed. Neck breaker there from Danny Limelight. He covers, hooks the far leg. Just a two count from Rick Knox. Limelight, you could see, still worrying at that shoulder. Yeah, it's hurting. He's trying to get the blood back in it. All that punishment from Matt Seidel. We've talked about how he's added that uh, that submission technique 
to or those submission techniques to his uh, to his game really well rounded. Seidel reinventing himself. Cover here by Limelight. Nice kick out. Good energy in that kick out. Shows Danny Limelight you're not getting me just yet. People don't realize how important sometimes a good kick out is. It sends a message to your opponent. And yeah, the mental game just as important as the physical game. That's right. Side out, rolls through sunset, flip. Li oh, wow. Limelight nice. kicked out, and Side out, I think, was anticipating it. Now has the arms captured, cranking on that neck. I think you're absolutely right. It was very smart. He's going, he's pointing to the forehead. Oh, but Limelight. Nice counter, almost got a nice upset victory. Yeah, you saw how he, he, he grabbed that heel of Seidel. Nice switch. Oh, oh buddy. Oof. Big elbow strike, but an nice. even bigger leg lariat by Matt Seidel. Seidel up to his feet and chops at that leg of Limelight. Now the middle kick, Ooh. rolling soul butt. Matt Seidel giving a shout out to everybody up top. Oh yeah, they're all there. Oof. Somebody's got to run the spotlights, Taz. <laughs> he's, he's amped it up here. Seidel's amped it up. Inside hook. At the inside hook into the brain buster. Seidel has limelight center of the ring covered. No. Matt Seidel. You can see the gears turning. Yeah, he's trying to think what to do next. He's kind of hit Daniel Limelight. I don't want to say everything he's got, but, but a lot of stuff, a lot of different offense, and hasn't beaten him yet. Oh, Limelight countered that big back elbow strike. Walking the tight rope. that balance. And the wow. big clothesline. That was excellent. Knocking Matt Seidel for a loop is Danny Limelight. Bringing Seidel up in the fireman's carry. Seidel kicking his feet, escapes out. Russian leg sweep with the. Wow, nice. The arm, uh, the arm captured, and Limelight. He's trying to, he's trying to bridge up and trying to get up to his feet to get out of it. He's trying to cinch in that Cobra clutch. But Matt Seidel loses the grip. Casadora. Oh, oh, look at this. Got the. Got the sleeper applied, but Seidel oh, roll roll counters one, two, no. D Danny Limelight forced to abandon ship, but eats a knee to the face. Seidel oh. plants him. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Matt Seidel. The hell of a match right there by these two guys. Two awesome wrestlers, excellently done. Matt Seidel, a little bit more experience. Big match experience for Danny Limelight. Yeah, Danny Limelight came to fight, but Matt Seidel, he's got so many ways to beat you, Taz. Sure does, you never know. You never know high impact moves, submission holds, it don't matter. A great victory here for Matt Seidel on AEW Dark. This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now, they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business.